Hey everyone, we're here with Near Earth Hub, and this is playing a bit of a different format. This one's called 1111. And what all those ones are is that you play with one core set, one big box, and one data pack, and then one card of anything from the card pool. So it's a very low powered format. You're not going to have you know, the, the entire card pool to pick your really gross synergies from. It makes all the decks on a very different level than when you have the full card pool, but it makes it easy for new players to get into the game that way. They don't need to have a huge pile of data packs to compete. They can just buy a very small number of things and then they're good to go. So I've been kind of trying out some different decks. I'm not sure yet what the right thing is to play in this format because you have a ton of options. Uh, the main issue you have is that you don't have access to Jackson which is a problem. So you will get flooded out if you take too long and are not scoring aggressively as you come out. So to kind of mitigate that, I've been playing Global Food, so I've taken the NBN big box as my data pack. I think that's clearly the best big box. I mean, there's just so many cards in there that are really power cards that you can see in really a lot of different decks with, with access to the full card pool. So there's a lot of there's Global Food, there's Launch Campaign, News Team, Archangel, Resistor, they're all really good stuff in there. 15 minutes. So I think in this format, probably NBN is the best. And I could be definitely wrong about that, but that's just how it feels at the current time. Up against Edward Kim, and we're a 24-7 midseason kill deck. So I'm almost tempted to just throw him a free global food and see if he wants it. don't think you can money up hard enough in the time being. I could see source him. Nah. It's kind of whatever. I have this Melange Mining Corp, but the issue is we're going to have to discard some cards we want if we use it. We'll probably get a chance to use it later in the game, but right now he's poor enough. He's just not contesting anything, I guess. Oh, he's going to go R&D. I guess he wants to knock out things, right, and figure out what I'm playing. So now you see 24-7, he knows it's a kill deck. Since Scorch is in the core set, I think it's natural to play a Scorch deck, especially when most players won't have access to Plastic Greek Carapace unless they take it as their data pack or their card. So I was hoping he would steal here. We'd get a nice little um, mid-season going on, but it hasn't happened so far. We'll see if he runs Archives for anything. There's some danger too that he'll just steal a bunch and then win before we can find the Scorches. He quite correctly came after the Sensees really hard at the start. Uh, we didn't have hard hitting news. I, you can take it as your pack, but then I think you're going to have a hard time getting kills. And also your Den Suite's really tough if you don't take Future Proof. So Future Proof gives you Beal, which is great. It gives you Eli, which is great, because the NWL is not in effect. You get it for one influence, and the mid-season obviously is in there as well. So I think Future Proof makes a lot of sense. Wow. So we could see source him here. I think we probably do. We don't have the kill in hand, but we can at least blow up all his econ. Feel good about that. And then we can just melange our money back up later on. He probably has Ivan worse in this deck. He has not played any yet. So, oh, he hits the Scorch. That's too bad. So we've got one Archive to fetch this, but without Jackson, it's actually very hard to get anything out of your bin. You might, you might be making a score of this game, <laughs> which I'm not happy about. Uh, he has, he's, I remember the tag though. I guess we... I'm going to click for 7 again to discard news team. I think it's fine. At least if he runs there, he will only get a net of 1 point after we shuffle that back. We're playing 12 ice, so we should get one for our R&D pretty soon. In the meantime, the news team is a 3x, and it's kind of like more ice. 
economy is definitely an issue uh, for this format because you don't have, for example, sweeps weak or shipment from Stanton or restructure. So we're running pad hedge and that doesn't really cut it right. So we've got a launch, a couple of melange in there. I'm not sure if that's the best choice, but it's something. Uh, so awkwardly, I think we're going to score this food the hard way. We also have to cover our R&D. So maybe we're not in a huge hurry to score. We'll just kind of slow roll it. We get a big mid-season if we hit him, but maybe it's not very good. Oh, there's a score. So now the mid-season is a little bit better. The thing is, we'll probably need two of them or the Scorch Archive Scorch to really get him. Um, awkward. Oops, I did not mean to do that. It's the wrong remote. So let's see what he's going to do here. Like, I actually don't know what he's going to do here. So we'll install here and we'll advance both these ones. Just kind of freak him out, make him think what's happening right now. Uh, we can discard. Better keep 24 seven. Guess we'll discard QPM. We can ice the archives later if we want to. I guess that's a res. So he's probably gonna parasite it to death, but I don't want him getting at my scorch and stuff. It's a solid res for us. He hasn't really rebuilt his board. So oh he gets our hedge fund. It's too bad. Get him on the ghost branch. Yeah. So we can close him out here. Yeah, we'll just end the run on him. Ah, now we're too poor to kill him. That's too bad. So Scorch Archive Scorch would have killed him had we planned our money properly. So now we can Raven, credit, credit, if we want to protect this food. Maybe we just fire Melange. At this point we haven't scored any gems. I think with the mid-season is going to be a better way to go than 24-7. Haven't seen breaking news come out. We only have two copies because of the one core set restriction. It's such an awkward card. Um, the altar is really pretty, but having to spend all three clicks is so much worse than spending two clicks. Oh. Yeah, that's the wrong move there, unfortunately. He saw 24-7. I think he would have figured out. He needed to clear both tags or keep four cards in his hand. So he's not popping his hopper. So he said plenty of warning. If he was going to, he would have popped it anyway. So, boom rough so this is the casual room obviously so the power level of both decks are, are lowered by quite a bit there wasn't too much going on over here on this side of the board but the deck still performed i'd say we saw we saw the weakness of the, of the economy very clearly didn't help he was trashing two hedge funds out of our deck so a lot of looking for melange a lot of having it is just sitting in the archives because you can't keep them and you can't score them, so they just have to go somewhere. Uh, I, I think Jackson is probably needed for the format to be really that healthy. Otherwise, like you're forced into playing either a whole bunch of like three-pointer Pryrex so they don't flood you, and then there's a lot of variance based on whether those get stolen or not. Or you know, put like a rush strategy where you're just hoping their draw is not good enough to, to get into your servers before you can score seven points, and then once they have their 
break your sweet up, you're kind of just rolling over and dying. So, yeah, I think Jackson would open, open up what you can do with the, with this format a little more, but it's still interesting to play as it is. It's quite a change. Like you'd never see a game like this happen with the full card pool. You would have had like Faust and David out and just parasiting everything, and Melange would not have been very good at all. He would he would be wizard also probably. He would just trash all our cards. So, thanks for watching, guys.